cattle health affects their everyday performance. But producers must find a balance in the need for vaccine efficacy and safety when deciding the main risk to well-being on their operation. For producers that are worried about BVD and IBR and other viruses, um, if there's a risk that those viruses can enter their cattle operation, they probably need to limit that risk by focusing on efficacy and having a product, a vaccine product, that is proven to be highly effective at stopping the virus. Decisions made for safety especially pertain to risk for maintaining pregnancies in the herd. For those producers that are doing a great job with biosecurity and testing incoming animals and controlling the movement of people, animals, and wildlife on their farm, there may be more of a move to the safety side of things where um, they don't need to have the most efficacious product because they're doing a great job with controlling things and they want to really have something that's highly safe. The level of risk within an operation should first be assessed before choosing an approach. Well, there are several tools available. One, the Kansas State University Beef Cattle Institute has a risk assessment tool that producers can use online. Uh, it's a series of questions that they have to answer, and they can kind of get an idea of what their risk is for having these virus being introduced on their farms. And that really helps. The other thing that really helps is just to, to take a step back and think about some of the things that they do. One of the riskiest behaviors um, as it relates to having BVD virus come onto a farm is purchasing pregnant replacement females. Recent research supports annual vaccinations of spring calving cows in the fall if they started as heifers with two pre-breeding rounds of a modified live virus and depending on products used. So one question that we often get is, is whether we can rely on a vaccination at pregnancy check to forgo the vaccination that might be done in a pre-breeding situation in the spring on those, on those cows. Um, in this recent study, I, I think we now have a piece of data that would suggest that it is possible and it could be uh, an economically viable option for those producers that just simply cannot get those cows up and vaccinate them in the spring in a pre-breeding situation. Weighing the risk and rewards, producers can work with their veterinarian to formulate a quality health management plan to match their quality beef goals. I'm Bob Cervera.